Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Hello, hello. How's it going? Yeah, we're back today with another pentatonics reaction. We've been doing lots of pentatonics lately. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be checking out Mary Did You Know today. So without further ado, let's check it out. Okay. Is it like a gospel song? Uh, I don't know. Mary Did You Know? Sounds Merry Christmas kind of. Mary? Christmas nice thing, lighting. yeah, feels like Christmas, Christmas. Sounds like a carol, Christmas carol or something. Mary, did you know that hmm. your baby boy the voice is like stereo? Walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know? To make you new. It's Abby Coughlin, okay. This child that you delivered will soon Oh, he's not in with Pentatonics anymore, is it? Yeah. Did you know hmm. Oh, wow. It's in the goosebumps. Mm. It's so good that they all sing it one after the other. Like, Having goosebumps. I will see the devil heal, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Quite a big. <laughs> So clear. Would one day rule the nation? Do you know that your baby? Oh, my gosh, that's so cool. Is heaven's perfect land. That sleeping child you're holding is the grave. This is amazing. Okay, yeah. Christmas. Maybe it was like a Christmas album, yeah, yeah. a few songs. I just thought maybe it's like a gospel song, just because it was like Mary, you know what I mean? Yeah, if you listen to the lyrics as well, it kind of sounds like gospel. Mary, did you know yeah, yeah, obviously the lyrics. Yeah. That's Christmas to me. 2014. That was pretty long. Wow, it's like eight, almost nine years ago. Wow, that's so interesting. My God, I, I, I just want to first of all mention, talk about um, this Kevin. I don't know, he, he's so amazing when he does this beatboxing and then he goes back into singing. Yeah, I recently reacted to one of his solo, and of course he has like his own channel and does like solo, and I... Yeah. And I listen to him. He doesn't just do beatboxing. 
he plays like other instruments, like he played um, uh, a cello. It was awesome. Oh, right. I didn't expect it. It was unexpected. I, in fact, I didn't believe it when I saw it. Like, so he, I feel like it's a bit covered here because he's not playing instruments, just doing like the beatbox. Mm -hmm. And he plays, if you, when I watched it, I was just amazed. You know, That's what I was saying about in general, like all of them having their own um, channels. I think they do what they like to do or like, you know, other musical ventures that yeah. they're interested in, mm -hmm. but they cannot fulfill with pentatonics. Just as you said, like if he's playing cello and something he likes doing, you know, pentatonics being a cappella band, yeah. they cannot, well, they don't really use any instruments, mm -hmm. you know, so it's kind of, so him having like his own personal channel, I feel like, you know, we've seen, I think, um, what is it called? Superfruit as well. Mm. And, you know, I think they had like a piano when they were doing their song. It was like a Lady Gaga mm. mashup. And there's other people from, you know, Voice Play, Home Free maybe. I think it was Voice Play. You know, their side projects, I think it's, you know, they're trying to fulfill things that they cannot really, for, you know, whatever reason may be, they cannot do in their bands. So they have like their side. And a lot of them, I think, you know, if you're interested in music, there's probably quite a few little things you do. You might be singing, but you also might be playing guitar, you know, or maybe mixing or, you know, you have like this broader interest. Yeah. And you, you can know a few different things that, you know, want to follow in that genre. In a way, I got a bit excited when I got to know his name is Kevin Ulusola. Ulusola is actually a Nigerian name, actually. <laughs> and I'm from Nigeria, so I was like, oh, that's my brother, actually. And it was like... <laughs> But that was really cool what this song it was it was like mellow cool kind of giving me like the mm -hmm. christmas vibe actually i was thinking about mary and um, jesus i think um i thought it was yeah. very like a soft very clean clear very soft you know the voices were kind of very soft even like when they were singing together and you know we had this kind of louder parts it was still soft i had this kind of feeling it wasn't very and i think fit very well the songs mm -hmm. and the lyrics mm -hmm. That's what I. That's felt, what I think. Felt all the goosebumps, <laughs> all the goosebumps. I couldn't just. I. I. It was, you know, I was down my spine. It was just going like from my head to my. Head. It was like <laughs> the voices together was. It's always amazing. It's always beautiful when you listen to all the voices joined together, and it's so good. I think this particular song they all sang like different verses. Everyone took like different, you know, had a like, turn by turn, and they all yes. sang. Yeah. I think with pentatonics, it's. From what I remember, it's quite hallelujah, I think, was the same in a way. You know, each part, everyone sang a different verse, I yeah, think. Could be. I have a feeling most of their songs follow kind of that, that part. I might be wrong anyway, cause, because, you know, I haven't listened to that many. But from what I recall, I think that's kind of how they do. Yeah, that, that, that was really cool. That was really good. I really enjoyed the song. <laughs> Thank Thumbs you so up. much, guys, for hanging with us, and then we'll see you all in the next video from us here. It's bye. See you later.